Good morning and welcome to Pajama Preaching for Friday, the 27th, 29th of May. Gosh. Well, here I am. I've just had a shower. I'm in a t-shirt. And we're looking today at Ecclesiastes 3, verses 9 through to 15. And again, the teacher asking questions. And don't we all do that? What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen this business that God has given everyone to be busy with. He's made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he's put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in their toil. I know that whatever God does endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. God has done this, so that all should stand in awe before him. That which is, already has been, to which it is to be, already is, and God seeks out what has gone by. So when I was reading that, the Words of a song, busy doing nothing, nothing the whole day through, trying to find lots of things not to do came into mind. And I think, as I've said before, we try and busy ourselves just to keep the days from blurring into one. And for those of you who are now back to work, how are you coping with the, the change? And for those of you, I know one who's milking cows every day and always has done and always will do. Bless you. So... What is the teacher trying to tell us? Well, the critical thing is he says, all that is given to us is given to us by a loving God. And we'll all rejoice and realise what he's done for us when we stand before him and we see the bigger picture and we'll stand in awe before God. So this brought me thinking to a tapestry... Oh, Rubbish is a cameraman. I got that from a charity shop. Beautiful stitch work. And I've not been able to look around the back of it because, and I'm gonna walk now into my study to get a piece of paper with a poem on it. But, oh, tapestries. This is from Corrie ten Boom. My life is but a weaving between God and me. I cannot choose the colours. He weaveth steadily. Oft times he weaveth sorrow, and in, I in foolish pride forget he sees the upper and I the underside. Not till the loom is silent and the shuttle ceases to fly will God unroll the canvas and reveal the reason why. The dark threads are as needful in the weaver's skilful hand as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern he has planned. He knows, he loves, he cares. Nothing this truth can dim. He gives the very best to those who leaves the choice to him. And I went into my garage library and found this. And when you look at the back of it, there's all the loose ends and there's all the mistakes. And I started this tapestry 15 plus years ago. And it says, be patient, God isn't finished with me yet. And there is the needle waiting for me to finish it. And I don't think I ever will because this has been a reminder to me that we all live a life that is moving onwards, changing all the while. And we have to acknowledge that and we have to be patient even though that's terribly difficult. And so today's reading talks about all the busyness but all of it being part of God's purpose and that's the bit that we struggle to understand. So, today, 
when you're thinking of other people, if you meet other people, if you chat to other people on the phone, on the internet, or wherever it is, remember to be patient. Remember that God isn't finished with any of us yet. Particularly during this COVID time, God hasn't finished. Trust in him. Let's pray. God, just give us patience to know that you are standing side by side with us through all of this. We pray for all of those who are in hospital, for those who cannot visit, cannot see loved ones, and are struggling at this distance of communication. Lord, help us to know that you weave all of our joys and sorrows together into a beautiful picture that when we meet you in heaven, you will show us and we will stand in awe. Amen. Have a great day. God bless.